Thanks, man. Love these history videos. I mean, I appreciate it, but, like, I don't know how my last video was really a history video. But, uh, since you liked it so much, uh, I'll do an actual history video now. Give it a sec for the pain to start this wreck right here. It ain't for the faint of heart. They thought they saw the worst verse from the team of G-Men who seemed like nerds at first. Once they get to know us, people dig us. Leaders in the fight for equal rights for niggas. Now, if you have watched my channel for a long time, you've probably heard the name Ack before. Now, for those of you who haven't heard of that server before, allow me to give a brief explanation. Basically, Ack is an unturned server chain, like all the others, except Ack was different because it had one specific server everybody played on. Ack Creative RP. Now, what was so special about this server was the activities that went on on it. This server was practically an anarchy server. It was labeled an RP server, but nobody went there to RP. They went there to talk to people and fucking KOS people that joined the server thinking it was an RP server. So what the server had was an interesting demographic of people trying to actually roleplay, trollers, and tryhards all in one server. But the thing about Ack was that there wasn't immediate KOS. It was almost like this equilibrium of peace was just kind of built into the culture of the server where everyone would just kind of stand around in a circle and wait for something to happen. And then eventually when something did happen, uh, it went into full chaos mode. Now, Ack is special to this channel primarily because Ack was the primary server I used to play and the primary server I used to make videos on. If you go back around a year, two years ago, most of my videos are filmed on Ack Creative RP. And it wasn't just me doing this, Doug did it as well. In fact, Doug's fourth most viewed video, which is Z-Man Bullies Kids, was filmed on Ack Creative RP. So the server has quite a bit of historical significance for uh, both me and Doug. Now, Ack by far was probably one of the best unturned servers of all time, uh, of course, until... <laughs> Now, everybody that played Ack Creative RP was decently happy with the server and probably wouldn't change it. Uh, however, there was one person that would change the server, and that would be the owner himself. The owner being a kid named Siv. Siv is the owner of Ack Creative RP and the Ack server chain, and he didn't like how his unturned RP server was being managed and he didn't like the direction it was going in, despite it being basically maxed out. 24 7 because of the way it was it was an anarchy server people played on there because it was fun and it, it was just full anarchy but um he didn't so basically one day he decided i'm gonna do a mass staff reform uh, and i'm going to ban around half of my most active players from the server for breaking the rules uh of course a few of these people being me and Doug. Now, I actually have a video on my channel about the Axe staff reform. Of course, this video is called The Last Unturned Revolution, and uh, it was the last unturned revolution on Axe. Because this was one of the last times I ever played on Axe. Of course, until I revisited the server. And uh, when I revisited the server, of course, the server was still basically anarchy. The changes Asiv did had little to no effect at first. But what ended up happening was over time, he got a new staff team because he fired his old one. And this new staff team basically would just try to suck Asiv's dick. And uh, to do that, they would ban as many people as possible to make it look like they were doing a good job on the server. Now what this ended up doing was banning all of the active players on the server. So a, so Ack has around 2,000 people or something like that in its community discord. However, there was around 10 to 20 people that played on the server consistently and these people were the reason that the server was successful because them playing on the server caused more people to join because it kept the ack server high in the server listings for when you looked up rp or for when you were just looking at the unturned server lists in general this fueled ack this is what funded Asiv's entire server chain because believe it or not nobody played on any other servers besides his arena server, and then later on his unturnov server. Uh, everyone played on the Creative RP server. So now that I've covered how the server started going on the wrong path and leading to the downward spiral, 
that it is currently on, I first want to bring up the actions of the server owner himself and why the decline of the server, while it being sad for especially me since I have a lot of nostalgia from the server, it being deserved. Now, the primary thing and the biggest thing a Civ ever did that eventually led to his downward spiral was pissing off Zumbi. Now, Zumbi, if you guys aren't familiar with him, he's a good buddy of mine. He's an unturned YouTuber, one of the best unturned trollers of all time. And uh, he has a channel with around 42,000 subscribers. He was massive in the unturned community. And a Civ wanted him to play on his server on one of his live streams. So he asked Zoom to play on his server. Zumbi said no because he was playing on a different server. So, you know, obviously he got shot down. Uh, a normal person would have just said, okay, can you play on it later? Maybe asked if he could play on it later on in the stream or in a video or in a different stream later on, you know, later on, later on, later on, right? What this motherfucker does is he goes into his server console configuration shit right and he has a plugin this plugin that he has on his server grabs player ips now the reason that he did this he said was because he had another plugin that showed what country somebody joined the server from i guess he liked looking at the map of the all the countries that people joined from on his server kind of weird kind of suspicious so a civ goes into the server, finds Zumbi's Steam ID, Steam account, whatever the fuck, whenever he joined the server last, finds his IP, looks up his IP, then finds the town he lives in, and then posts the town that Zumbi lives in, in his stream chat. So basically what a Civ did was, oh, Zumbi doesn't want to play on my server, I'm gonna go in my fucking server IP grabber, grab his IP, find where he lives, and then post that in the fucking chat of his live stream where around like 100 people were watching. Uh, yeah, this was fucked up. Uh, it eventually led to him making a video where he talks about the situation. Of course, I actually made a video where I interviewed a Civ. Uh, it's around a 30-minute video. Of course, um, I had to actually private it after a while because a Civ claimed that I didn't get his permission to record the video when I actually did. He was just full of shit. Uh, so, you know... Him obviously getting a lot of money from the server meant he could probably afford a decent law team. And, you know, me being me at that time, two years ago, I was fucking broke. So I couldn't afford to even go to court. So I just privated the video. Of course, now it is back. So if people want to go watch that now, they can. But uh, yeah, in the interview, uh, he doesn't really show much remorse. And eventually he did apologize on his own YouTube. And um, yeah, it was a pretty half-witted apology. I mean, it didn't really seem like he actually meant it at all low-key giving me travis scott vibes when travis scott apologized for getting like fucking eight people killed at his fucking festival or some shit so yeah it's pretty much a fucking massive ass joke no of course if you thought that was bad uh, i got something uh almost equally bad uh, of course this being the fact that this guy just is racist <laughs> Not only that, but a Civ showing that he has somewhat of a god complex. Him also being a bit down bad. Now, of course, also a Civ does basically what uh, Brad does on Brad's RP, where they don't fucking even try to attempt to play their own server. Uh, here you can see a Civ playing Fortnite when he's the owner of a massive unturned server chain. He doesn't even play his own server. He just has his mods do his bidding for him. Yeah, not a good server owner to say the least. Yeah, my friend got a KOS. I'm triggered because I'm on a crusade. Or is this him? Yeah, that's him. That I did, I did. Yeah, and you're his friend. You. Hey, stand. You fucking split. Open the door. Go back to your fucking country. This what? is the asshole. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew you were sticking around. Now, with all of these fuck ups from a Civ, you'd think that his server would have immediately gotten backlash boycotts the player count would have gone down immediately right believe it or not it didn't for around two years now he's came out practically unscathed from all of this all of the controversy 
him getting rid of some of the best unturned staff in the community. He came out practically unscathed until rather recently when his creative RP server started getting less players. Now the Ax server network had around 12-ish servers I think, a pretty decently sized number to say the least. However, only three of them had any playership at all. Uh, the biggest one being the Washington Creative RP server, his Alpha Valley Arena server, and more recently his Unturnov server. These servers got a lot of players, and they also brought him a lot of revenue on his server, because surprise surprise, at Creative RP is one of the worst pay to win servers in the history of Unturned. I'd say they're probably on par with Brad's, or at least they were. Uh, I remember one time as Siv saying that he made like a $258 kit just because he felt like it and that people would buy it. Obviously I can't find the screenshot of this, but this is something that he has said. Uh, he literally was making bullshit kits for money. Donators and MVPs were immune to rules on the server. They were allowed to break rules on the server while staff were on, which was a big deal. And uh, yeah, if you combated these MVPs, you would get banned from the server. This was at Creative RP. Uh, of course, this only getting worse when he got rid of all of his good staff. Now, of course, his server's player counts have started to wane, the biggest one being the Creative RP server, which used to get an average of like 24 players on it every day, it being maxed out throughout the week every week. And now it has zero players. Nobody plays it anymore. Of course, this resulting in a sieve making less money. Uh, of course, him making less money may have also had it in part to do with the pay to win changes that Nelson implemented a few months ago. And now in November of 2021, Ak has finally started to die. A sieve released a statement on November 6th of this year, 2021, saying, recently, Ak has begun dying in popularity and our financial situation is in distress as a result. In order to combat this, we will be making a few changes regarding operations. He goes on to say that he will be closing all EU and INTL servers, and that he will be removing a good amount of US servers as well, that he would migrate NTL Unturnov and NTL Vanilla PEI to the US machine, and that he would be changing up some of the servers. Now, immediately I'm just gonna say, the one time that he changed up his creative rp server which was his biggest server it fucking ended up killing his entire server chain then he goes on to say that if these changes above cannot remedy our situation and we cannot turn a profit then ack will be forced to close permanently these changes will be implemented over the next few hours he said this on the 6th so obviously they have been implemented now another change that he did was he unbanned everybody from the creative rp server i wonder why now, obviously, we know why. It's because it was an anarchy server, and ban times were really low. They were around an hour if you mass KOS everybody. So they would have, people would immediately get back in to continue trolling, right? It was an anarchy server. People played it because it was an anarchy server. When he decided to be a tyrant, fire his whole staff team and replace them with fucking dick-sucking fuckboys, right? It killed his server because they started perma-banning all of the active players, to the point where everyone playing on the server were actual role players and when it's an actual role play server it starts to fucking die and that is what happened with at creative rp it went strong for about a year without most of the trollers these people being like me doug some other people in my community and uh now the server is dead now i'm not gonna try to blow my own cock but i will say that i think one of the primary reasons that at creative rp was a popular server was because me and doug would go on there and record that was obviously great promotion for a sieve and a sieve liked it for a time there was even a point where a sieve allowed me and doug to commentate his pvp tournament that he hosted on his arena server we had a great time however with him deciding to make his anarchy server a role play server which you know by the way it being a shit role play server because it's creative rp what the fuck are you gonna role play as this caused the server to die and um to be honest i've seen these changes and i've i myself have also been unbanned from at creative rp as of everybody that used to play on there but none of us play on the server and the reason is because we don't want to primarily because we moved on 
you kicked us out of your house so we went and bought our own house right i have my own server now we go on any server we want uh i found a way to bypass hardware ban so i can go on brad's or any server of my choosing whenever i like i don't need to join at creative rp anymore to get content for unturned now despite me having little respect for a civ at this point after all the shit that he's done uh, i do kind of feel bad about at creative rp possibly going away in the near future simply for the fact that i recorded so many memories and so many good videos on that server and um that server will soon probably cease to exist i mean to be honest the only way i see at reviving is from this video because i am giving him a fuck ton of promotion right now uh, by talking about his server so people might come back that would be kind of ironic but um you know as of right now with all the poor management and all the rules being changed to rules that nobody liked him firing his most popular and one of the most beloved staff teams in all of unturned you know this was bound to happen at some point it's just kind of sad to me because there will never be an experience like ax crp ever again uh, the experience on there was something that cannot be recreated you could not recreate the scenarios that happened on that server. It was bonkers what happened on that server. You couldn't change it, you know? He had a really great community, and he fucking blew it. He really blew it. And, you know, it's sad. It is really sad. Uh, but, uh, however, you know, the world moves on, and uh, I've moved on. So, despite it being sad, I don't really care. Uh, because that's the fall of Unturned's oldest anarchy server. Probably kiss me later that evening. I should be early. Matter of fact, we're, good. Back we're gonna go on a crusade. Yeah. Yeto on my Cheeto. Yo, Salty's better at hearing me. That's okay. Nani! She had to set the rocket off. Ain't enough room in this fucking town. When you see Tin Head, tell him be ducking down. I'm not romping around. He better be ready and prepared to be stomped in the ground. And now, subscriber, we've got to punch you up. So, please stand by.